Since the 1960s, Britain's feral pigeon population has been steadily on the up, and there are now around 18 million of the feathery beasts producing a thousand tons of poo every day. Protected from many of the environmental factors that limit their population in rural areas, city pigeons have been living the high life, setting up home in the seemingly inhospitable spaces of many city buildings. Here at a school in the East End of London, they tried to evict their unwanted squatters a few months back, only to find they've since returned with a vengeance. So today I've come to meet pest controller Michael Hall to find out exactly how bad the problem is. Hello. So you've got to clear all this out then, have you? Got, is that part of the job, is actually well, cleaning all this stuff this out? This is the second process. Most of this guano has gone. The, uh, the level of guano was around about kneecap height. And, uh, and that, but that, that had been years of build -up. That's about 30 years of pigeon guano build-up. Wow. Yeah, oh. Whilst relieved to discover the guano is no longer knee-deep, the prospect of cleaning up still doesn't fill me with enthusiasm. Guano is deeply unpleasant stuff, and once it's dried out, organisms in it that spread diseases easily become airborne. So first it needs wetting down with disinfectant. Yeah. It's, uh, it does smell, the, uh, the guano does have a quite a, a pungent yeah. smell. Guano is so acidic it can rot wood and even corrode metal. So if I don't tread carefully, I could suddenly find myself dropping in on the chemistry lab downstairs. I've banged the head about 160 times. <laughs> Maybe I've got a hat on. 